In your presentation today, David, you talked about, you know, soybeans have a 150 yield bushel potential. And, and if that's the case, then, you know, why are we only averaging 30 to 60 bushels? Well, and, and you say 150 yield, 150 bushels potential. However, one person has done that. I would say we've got at least 100 bushel potential. The reason we're not doing that is not is something we can do to get the yield up to that is something what can we do to keep the yield from falling in other words what are those yield limiting factors um, and those yield limiting factors are very different for every farm for every uh, location they're different for south america than they are for the united states or canada they're different from one farm to the other they're different from even one field to the other so the real key is how do we go in and identify what's limiting yield on our farm. And what, what tips do you give farmers to do that? Well, I like to simplify things. I think we, once you calculate all the yield limiting factors, you can get up to well over 100 of these. So that becomes very complicated. So I like to um, simplify things. And, and I like to look at it as limited resources. I like to tell people, think like a plant. What is that plant needing during that time of the year, regardless of what stage or what time of the year it is, that is limiting its yield? Now, if we boil all of those factors down, we can basically categorize it into five different things. One is light. One is water. Those are obvious. Uh, the other is nutrients. That's obvious as well. Two that we don't think about a lot is carbon dioxide and then oxygen. Carbon dioxide, we think we have plenty of it, but actually, anytime we're under drought stress, that plant stops taking in the carbon dioxide to build our yield. So if we look at things from that standpoint, integrate temperature and other things in it, then we can start identifying what is limiting that crop. In our area of Virginia, we grow a lot of double crop beans. We grow two crops in one year, beans follow wheat. We're a short season production system. Maybe very similar to some of the uh, more northern systems as far as shorter season. We're much warmer, of course, but we can't build up the canopy we need. And basically, I want to capture all the light by that time that first pod is developed there. And once we can do, if we can do that, then we can move on from there. So that's one, and, and capturing light as simple as row spacing, plant population, planting date, variety selection, a lot of those types of things. So that's an example. Of, of those yield limiting factors under that broad category of light. The other issue is any type of nematode. Nematodes are becoming a big issue in our area, not only numbers, and we're finding them in areas we didn't think we had them, but we are seeing shifts in races of something like cyst nematode, root knot nematode's another big problem. We're seeing it in corn as well. Identify those areas, then attack that with variety selection, rotation, there are some new seed treatments uh, give us some response or either some type of soil insecticide. I think those are some issues that we can take those low yielding portions of the field or low yielding portions of the farm up to and maybe that's what we have to do. We're doing the right thing in some fields and some parts of the field. We just need to get those low yielding areas up.